Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has attacked the 27k level today and um, seems like it wants to drop below it. Well, it has dropped by now, but it uh, obviously did that before today. Earlier today reclaimed it, but the rally earlier today was only in three waves. So the situation, I really only want to focus on the shorter time frame price section. This video just to give you a quick middle of the day update. The situation is that we are witnessing currently the possible start of the fifth wave to the downside. The fifth wave, the lower low that we've been waiting for, it's not entirely confirmed. Bitcoin would need to break below the trend line to give us really a first indication it's doing that and would then ideally need to follow through to break below 26,570, that B wave low to really give confidence. The thing is the move down that started off the high here at 27,690, the move down is not clearly impulsive. Okay. However, because we are below resistance, yeah, we're below that 50% res uh, retracement level, which would, if broken, unlock possibly higher prices and make me rethink the scenario. We are below the resistance and we have seen a move up that looks clearly corrective. A, B, C. In the previous video, we discussed this wave count and said, okay, we can reasonably count an ABC complete and we're waiting for a lower low. That happened. Um, it's just that it now needs to follow through and break below the trend line. Only if it's doing that, we have a good indication that the wave five has started. Um, I explained to you that if the 50% level breaks, we possibly have something more bullish going on. But until then, I assume we are heading to the downside. We currently can see on several altcoin charts as well that a possible fifth wave to the downside has started. The move up here on the Bitcoin chart that started actually on Friday looks corrective. It's just a three wave structure. You can even draw trend lines in a way that you get an ascending broadening wedge. That is typically a pattern that in most cases would break to the downside. The question then though is, if it does that, do we really get a lower low? But it would appear reasonably likely to assume that, you know, if that trend line breaks and if it follows through and breaks below the B wave low, where could a fifth wave take us? So first of all, we've got that 50% Fibonacci retracement level as possible support at 25,312. We then already looked at several Fibonacci extension levels. For example, we took the length of the A wave went to the high of the B wave and a likely target to the downside would be based on that. First of all, the 1.618 extension that's at 23.7K. Now that's quite far down. I don't think that fifth wave will go down that far um, unless we get a bit of an extension. Uh, first target here was the one to one ratio at 26.1K. We already reacted though to that at the end of the third wave. Okay, so ideally we're looking at something in between and that's the 50% level here at 25.3K. But another way of calculating targets would be to take the length of waves one through three, and then we go to the high of the wave four. And ideally we're looking at the 61.8 extension level. And that's pretty much very close to that 50% retracement. Um, so here we get the 25,150 level as possible extension. Again, very close to 25.3K, the 50% retracement. So there are a few levels. I think it sort of points towards that area around the 50% Fibonacci level. We will be able to calculate that in more detail as soon as we get more an, of an idea of the subway structure of the fifth wave. At present, I have no reason to assume my wave count is wrong. So we carry on with the current assumption. Um, again, what, what happens if I am wrong? If I am wrong, then the low is already in and we have to break above resistance. But that's exactly why we have that resistance level, because it tells us when we have to change our view. But I also warned you that, of course, the low could be in because in a WXY structure, the low is likely in. Um, it's just that current price structure to the upside, that recovery, uh, small rally that we've seen doesn't really suggest anything impulsive is going on. Um, also, whenever we hit these trend reversal areas, we need to be ready for a turnaround at any time. 
But as I said, price structure doesn't currently suggest we are turning around yet. It looks very similar to the move up that occurred between the 1st of May and the 5th of May. So all eyes need to be on the trend line. It's also a mini head and shoulders which is emerging here. And on that B wave low at 26,600 pretty much. Okay. That's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.